Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the first video about layers, uh, we showed just the uh, principle of how you can put extra layers on and add to different things on different layers and things show through differently. Now let's have a look a little bit more from that, which is just about erasing and removing things from layers and what you can do with it. So, in the last video we showed this um, where we have a, this is like a card, a uh, blue card and above the blue card there's a layer of say acetate or clear plastic where part of this is in red and the other part is clear. Um, just imagine now that we started with this, where they were, this was just the uh, layer of plastic here was covered fully in red. Imagine we could rub off part of that and end up with it like this. So we rubbed off half of it so that we then see the layer here with the red from this layer and the blue from the layer underneath. So let's go and do that. Here we've got a picture of a chap playing a trumpet. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. For this I can go to layer and duplicate and see it says Control J. That's a very quick way of doing it. We end up doing lots of layer duplicates. So Control J and over here on the Layers tab we've got two of these layers and they're both exactly the same. So let's take the top one and if I go down to the Adjustments here, click on this and then go up to Black and White. Uh, and we can do things here but I'm just going to click on Merge. So that we've now on the top layer I've got Black and White and I take that off by undoing the checkbox there you can see the original colour picture and then we've got a black and white picture on top. Now over here on the left, if we go, go to the Erase brush, I click on this and I've got on here the Opacity 100%, Flow and Hardness 100%, so it's just a straight brush. Um, don't worry about the detail of it. But if I increase the size of the brush a bit, this shows you a preview. If I click the brush, what's going to happen? And it's like a torch, and it's showing through what's going to happen if I paint on this, so if I paint on his like this, I'm erasing the top layer and going through to the bottom layer. So if I turn off the bottom layer, see it goes through to the checkerboard transparency. But what you can do then with this, zoom in a bit and reduce the size of the brush, is I can then paint this just here and it's it's actually removing it's not painting on because it's just revealing the layer and underneath if i took a bit more care with this then we could make it a just fit a bit more nicely but what you get is an effect here called popping where one layer underneath appears and i could do his hands in the same way and so on there we go, say so more time spent on this. And there are better ways of doing this, you know, there are alternatives where I'm just showing that you can do this by punching through and doing an erase. So this is the two layers, the top layer black and white, the bottom layer is in colour. So we're poking a hole in the top layer so we can see that. So we could be tidier there. Go back to full size and you can see you get that effect of a combined colour and black and white. Turn off the bottom layer again. You can see where I've knocked it out. I turn off the top layer and there's the full original picture. So there we go. Just about erasing away. And this is often a useful thing to be able to do is to knock out one layer so you can see the layer underneath just with the erase brush. There are other ways we can do this, in particular masking. Don't worry about masking for now. If you don't know about it, we'll cover it in another video. Thank you very much for watching.